Welcome to the LCTV show. I'm your host, Mukala Kabongo. This is a program that highlights organizations making major contributions to the Lynn community. Here today, we're going to talk AAU basketball, and I have two guests with me, uh, two AAU coaches, Antonio Anderson and Mackenzie Charles. How you, how you fellas doing? Doing good, doing good. How's everything going? Doing good. Thank yeah, you for inviting us. No problem. How's the summer treating you guys? Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. staying in the gym, helping these kids get better. Yes, yeah, so you guys have been doing a lot of work in the community. Can you just uh, tell everybody what you guys been up to lately? Um, we've been running a basketball camp for most of this summer. I'm in the English gym. I'm helping kids get better, work ethic, um, working hard and dedication to getting better at basketball and keeping them busy, having them something to do every summer, every summer day to get up and do something productive. Now, Antonio, you've uh, you've been playing basketball all over all over the place, uh, the highest level. So, what are some of the things that you've been trying to teach uh, the kids? I'm just trying to install discipline. Um, uh, as I talk to the kids, and me and McKenzie talk about all the time, is the importance of understanding wherever you go, wherever you play, someone's always watching you, um, mm -hmm. and not to just you know learn from my mistakes when I was young. I used to have an attitude and throw fits. Um, so I try to teach them not to do those things mm -hmm. because, like I said, you never know who's watching. Um, and just the importance of hard work, um, you know, out this way is a lot of kids get caught up in watching TV and watching YouTube videos instead of putting their own work in to create their own. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just a mindset we try to talk to them about and try to keep them thinking that way. Yeah, and you're also making a transition. So, I mean, you, you've coached, uh, you've been coaching college uh, the past couple of years and now you're coming down, you're going to be dealing with high school kids. So yeah. how is, like, work, starting working with them in the summer going to help you? Woo. Headache. <laughs> no, but I love it. I love it. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, I think, you know, I have an opportunity to be in my hometown and coach um, at a public school in Lynn and give back to the city, which helped me become the person who I am. Uh, mm -hmm. means a lot. So it's been, it's been an awesome transition so far. I'm looking forward to the season. Yeah, and Mackenzie, you go. You you've coached. Uh, you've been coaching the the women's outside. So, what's some of the difference you see with coaching young ladies and then coaching the young men? Um, I, I coach in the same. My coaching style um, doesn't change that much between coaching girls or boys. Um, our expectations are high. Um, we push them to be the best and on and off the court. So. Uh, our standards are higher at Lynn English academically, so it's it's important and, that, and that's good for those students because they want to transition to college. So um, having high academic standards are, are important. I think my team this past year had a 3.3 team GPA, um, and we're just trying to grow from there. Um, as long as they put the hard work in the classroom and on the court, they'll be successful successful in life. Mm -hmm. Now, now with you guys, uh, with this AU program that you guys are starting. Um, what are some of the values that you're hoping uh, this AAU program brings to Lynn? We want to bring kids that are going to be dedicated to getting better in all aspects of life. And um, AAU basketball is going to bring a lot of people from outside communities to our city so they can see um, the beautiful city that we, we have and the kids and the adults that we want to highlight that we're doing positive things in the city. So I think bringing outside communities to Lynn and establishing a, a positive um, influence and a positive view of our city is important. And I think AAU brings that to this community. Now, Antonio, how are you going to make sure that this AAU program is different from other AAU programs? I say that because sometimes um, AAU programs have been getting like negative side, uh, especially from players in the NBA or like former players in the NBA. They, they look down on AAU. So how are you going to make sure this one is different from the other ones? Well, I don't. everyone just has their own style. Um, I think, you know, NBA players, coaches, they all talk down on it, but they all played it. Mm -hmm. They want to be where they are without AU at, at the end of the day. Um, AU sets the platform for players to put you on a put you on a plateau to play in front of the top coaches in the country. Um, and, you know, as you the guests you have after us are two examples of North Shore kids who played in front of the, mm -hmm. in the national spotlight. Um, for our kids in our program to see that, to motivate them to want to, you know, catapult that or just, reach that same goal. Um, mm -hmm. That's what AU does. I know a lot of people talk negative of it, um, but it, it just depends on how it's ran. Some things are ran the right way, some aren't. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, if these, these programs are putting kids in front of coaches and getting these, and these kids are getting free educations, I don't know what, what much you can say about it. Yeah, now with basketball, basketball is a very intense sport. You expect your players to be in the best shape. So 
Uh, what are, what are some of the the things that these players are gonna endure uh, when they, when they're part we, of this program? We push them. Um, we do ladders. I tried yesterday and I made the guys quit because I couldn't do it. Um, stuff's hard, but we push them to to the limit. Um, mm -hmm. They hate us for the moment, but they love us afterwards. We laugh, we joke, we talk. Um, so it, it, it's a combination of all things. They know we have their best interests, um, so they don't mind one bit. Mm -hmm. Now, Mackenzie, as far as um, as players with, with being in shape, um, do you have, is there like some, some tips you give them as far as in season, as far as for them to stay in shape, as far as like conditioning wise or nutrition wise, what they, sh what they should eat, what they shouldn't eat? Some of the most important part of being an athlete is, is the stretching. Actually, mm -hmm. stretching is a huge part of preparing your body to endure the, the rigors of our workouts and um, all the things that we demand. So stretching, a lot of water, we understand they're young kids and they're not, we don't, they don't always make the, the best choices in foods and I still don't <laughs> work on that as adults. So yeah. we understand that, um, but we try to push them and give them some good advice. Um, we have good connections and there's good people in the city of Lynn in the Lynn Fitness Center. Um, they do a great job of working with the kids and mm -hmm. helping them their bodies grow and get better and um, be physical athletes. So uh, we continue to make sure we stress the importance of, of all those things. And hydration, how often do you guys give them a water break? Because I, I went to one of you guys' uh, workouts that you had and there were kids screaming, there were kids that <laughs> they were just on the ground. So how often is a water break needed? Um, what we do at our camp, we really, we. We, uh, we tell the kids that they take ownership of that. Like, we don't have a problem when they say, hey, coach, should I go get some water? And they need to step out and get some water. Mm -hmm. We don't mandate, oh, we all come together, break, and go get water. Sometimes if they need it, they have to go get, they go get, get it on their own. Because the gym we work in is extremely hot. Mm -hmm. It's very hot. And that's good, though, because it, it builds mental toughness as much as physical toughness yeah. to prepare yourself to play in those conditions and when things aren't going your way yeah. to overcome that. So I think our camp does that. Um, but yeah, we give them, they have ownership of, they know their bodies better than we know their bodies. As long as they're being honest with themselves and not cheating a drill or cheating getting better, mm -hmm. we trust them with that. Now, Antonio, um, what do you guys uh, take for player safety? What are some of the precautions you guys take? Um, are, are you guys going to be um, CPR certified or is there going to be well, people I'm already, there? I'm, I'm already CPR certified. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we have insurance. We have mm -hmm. big time policies. We have... Things in, things in order. Um, there's no AU program that hires trainers and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, kids come, work hard, come play. When you're at tournaments, most tournament venues have trainers or people on, on site um, just in case things happen. Um, but, you know, all programs make use of liability papers and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have all the things in order that we already have installed in our camps. Yeah. Um, so the parents understand that we have their kids' best interests. I think and we, we both come from the college ranks. I coach college football um, for a while. I coach college basketball for a while. We have to be concussion certified, CPR certified, first aid certified. So we have all those qualifications. All right. And do you, do you guys often look for volunteers uh, in the community to come help you guys out, whether it be just whatever you guys got going on? Well, I think we're open to it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, along with the people who are coming to volunteer, no basketball. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just don't want friends and family just volunteering because we know them. Yeah. Um, we want these kids to learn from people who know the game, <clears throat> um, who have a good feel for the game, who can teach them the game the right way. Um, and that's that's just our goal. Um, yeah. We don't mind people coming by or people coming and wanting to reach out and help out. Um, but they just got to make sure that their resume is in order because we just want to surround these kids with quality people. Okay, and if, if anybody wants to get involved, how can, how can they contact you guys? Well, they can contact us um, via email at asaskillsacademy at icloud.com or on Facebook at uh, Tony Winston Skills Academy or on Instagram, um, and which is Tony Winston Skills Academy, which is AA underscore Skills Academy. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to take a short break. Uh, coming next, we got some athletes here who just participated in a national tournament, and they're going to talk about the experience. So we'll be back in a second.
Welcome back. Uh, right now I have with me some athletes uh, who just part who recently participated in an uh, AAU tournament down in Florida. Um, they came out as champions. So I have with me Matt Cross and John L. Snow Guzman. Fellas, what's going on? So, hi. Uh, <laughs> so, you guys, national champions. How does that feel? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it feels good. It's different. Yeah, how, how's the experience for you, Matt? Um, it was good. It was one of the tougher tournaments we played in, so mm -hmm. it was kind of big win in this, put us on the map. Uh, and, and for you, John L? It was, it was amazing. Never been in that sort of spotlight, mm -hmm. playing on ESPN. It was different. Yeah, so you guys got a lot of exposure. And how, the, how does it help that you've had, there's someone here that's, that's participating in things like this uh, to kind of give you guys advice on when you guys were going down there? Uh, it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Just being prepared, ready, just playing your game, mm -hmm. throughout everything. And for you, Matt, what did what did you uh, what did you gain most from that experience? Uh, the thing I gained most from the experience is with Antonio telling me all the advice about what he's gone through. So just knowing how to act and what to do in mm -hmm. front of these kind of coaches. Yeah, um, having a guy like Antonio around in the city, just going around talking to the kids, um, having programs, having guys work out. Uh, can you guys? Can you? With you, John, now can you just talk about how that, that's really helped your game? Uh, it helped a lot, uh, being in the gym constantly, every day. Um, he's showing us workouts that he did in college, so he's preparing us for the next level. Uh, the kids coming in, they know, work hard. If you're not, they'll excuse you from the gym. And, yeah, we've just been in the gym working hard. And for you, Matt, um, can you talk about what what it was like to just play in front of a lot of college coaches? I mean, guys that potentially gonna be looking at you when when you get uh, older and you develop your game. How's that? Uh, it was it was pretty cool because oh, we see it with the older teams, coaches watching them. But that was the first kind of actual tournament we had coaches watching us. Mm -hmm. So I was always kind of looking around when I played. But if you keep your cool, it's good. Yeah. So now with with uh, an AAU program launching in Lynn, so. Can you guys, I'll start with you, Matt, just talk about what it's going to, the importance of it is to the community. I think it's important because I think it will bring a lot of the people together. With all these high schools, I think everyone's kind of like worried about beating each other so much, but with this, I think it will bring people together more. Mm -hmm. and, and what are you looking forward to with them launching an AAU program in Lynn? Uh, build Lynn, help Lynn come, become one, mm -hmm. and keeping these kids off the streets or doing anything wrong, keeping them in class, making sure they stay focused on their goal. Yeah. Um, and can you touch on some of the values and lessons that you've learned from since beginning AAU? Uh, be strong, be smart, and uh, just just play a game. That, that's, that's good advice. Uh, so I know you guys have been working out with them this summer, uh, the workouts they've been doing. Can you can you tell the audience just what you guys been going through with those workouts? Uh, it's tough because a lot of the times you go to the other things like they, everyone just lets you do what you're mostly comfortable with, but they put you through what your weaknesses are, and it's not fun doing mm -hmm. like missing shots constantly or dribbling off my foot, and it's tough. Yeah, it's all learning. Um, Speak on you guys went you guys went down to uh, went down to Memphis with Antonio. Can you just talk about that overall experience? It was fun, really fun. Uh, we got to see things that I've never seen before. Uh, locker rooms, training, their weight room was crazy. Uh, the way they live on college campus is very good experience. Mm -hmm. If you, yeah, it's it's crazy because even to see how they just like simple things like how they eat, it's like so high and stuff like, and the stuff they have to go through is much different than just the ordinary kid. All right. Uh, I know basketball is a very intense sport, so I mean, what did you guys do to get yourself prepared for a big AAU tournament like that? How did you mentally prepare, John L? We just, basically just, I don't know, but played our game. Mm -hmm. uh, we got ready for whatever was coming our way to game by game, and just ball. All right, and is it, um, is it different? I don't know if any of your parents were there,
but is it different playing with, with your parents there and not there for you? Um, yeah, I think I don't think it's different, but I like when my parents probably aren't there more because mm-hmm. I don't like I just I, don't know, I just like doing my own thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to worry about them. Uh, oh, the, the crazy parents? Do, yeah. do they yell? They yell at the refs? Um, no, but I hear from them after the game. <laughs> oh, that's good. And can you guys just uh, give us a view of the overall AU experience? Just, just the overall bigger picture of how it is. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's not similar to high school at all. So it's hard to base it off that. But mm-hmm. like, it's more just really all about wins. And they, I feel like, mm-hmm. where coaches like are more worried about winning than, than they're like worried about you. Yeah. And what are some of the things that that you've taken from this experience that you're gonna carry over when you start when your when your basketball season starts? Uh, confidence. Uh, basically, um, in AAU, we're playing at like the highest level of AAU, so we're seeing different different skill levels, different kids top in our grade. And basically, playing playing my game in AAU just like I would in high school. Mm-hmm. So I'm just taking everything I learned in AAU, putting it to high school, making a few change ups, getting better, and have a good high school season. For both of you, toughest players that you guys had to guard down there. Who? The toughest player that either you guys had to guard down there. Um. I don't know. I don't know the exact names, but probably I think the toughest team for the kids who I had to guard was probably Team Atlantic Celtics down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was. I guess Memphis, the team we versed, um, Georgia Stars. Mm-hmm. Georgia Stars is the team we versed in the championship, and Atlanta, Atlanta uh, Celtics was tough. For for anybody else that. For young kids coming up, uh, what would you tell them if they want to get in, uh, involved in AAU? What's the big advice that you would that you would give them? Play smart, play together. For you, um, just you kind of have to go through the process. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about like right away about playing and stuff. Kind of just go through the process. Yeah, and for the rest of the summer, what do you guys have? What's your uh, what's your agendas like for the rest of the summer? Yeah, yeah, working out in the gym. Yeah. What what are what are some things that you guys are looking to improve on in your personal games? Ball handling. Mm-hmm. Florida game. Florida games week. Uh, I just gotta use it more often. Uh, well, you used it. You used it in the state tournament. I mean, uh, gotta bring it back. You gotta bring it back. All right. All right then. So on that note, my name is Mukala Kabongo. It's been a pleasure having my guests here. I want to thank Matt Cross, John L. Snow, Antonio Anderson, Mackenzie Charles. Uh, this has been great. Uh, thank you for tuning into the program. Uh, this has been a this has been a LCTV show, and we will see you guys when we see you guys. Have a great day.